After being trapped so long in my room, I decided to finally break out of prison. I feel, I feel like it was the time. It was time for me to move on, to get out and see the world for myself. I just couldn't handle it anymore. So I, I, I had to do something. I had to do something. And that's when the awesome, mighty, Biyaki Togami comes to save the day and take down the Monokuma for himself. With Biyaki at my side, I could know that we were able to stop these kids from taking over the world. We didn't need the awesome, tragic, awful event to occur, but it seems like these kids had something more in mind. They had something planned. What was it that these kids had? Oh yeah, and Nagito is a sex slave now. Thought I'd just throw that in just for fun. Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? And welcome back to Danganronpa and Ultra Despair of Girls and all, oh, baby. Guess what? We are back for the second time of this game. And we are about to get into it. Finding out that th these kids have taken over the world and they're trying to start the most awful, most tragic, most worst thing in the world. I couldn't believe that these kids, they let these kids take over. They have been killing adults. They have been killing anybody in their path. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And let me know how I did down in the comment section below. Let's try to get 10 likes on this video. 10 likes and I will drop a special bonus episode for you guys tomorrow on the size of what I got planned for you guys. So, Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do the thumbs up. Let's type in the hashtag. Let's type in the comment section below. Hashtag ultimate despair. And let's get started. Chapter 1. Crying for love in hell. Well, welcome back to Dang Up and Ultimate Despair, girls, everybody. Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. I have not played anywhere past this part yet, like... Ow, 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 ow. So I don't know what's gonna that happen. Was so scary! Tell by the way she looked. Oh god. <laughs> Killing these things just doesn't light my fire. <laughs> I love getting like that. Found you. <laughs> hey you, you're Kamaru not Eggy, right? Right, right, right. and light you up at the meat counter. <laughs> That's a trait! I'm Komaru Nayagi! She's so weird. It's... You gotta love her for her. There's more of them! He does not care. <laughs> she is awesome. Ah, so that Monokuma is some kind of automaton robot. I see. I see. <laughs> no wonder it sucks more than the other one. Well, that's modern technology for you. I mean, it's not like this is sci-fi or something. It's borderline sci-fi at most. Yes, madame. What business do you have with me? 
Are you... here to rescue me? Dekamaru was it? It's Komaru! Komaru Naegi! And where's Master Byakuya? You know where he is, right? She still huh? call him Master? That gun you're holding... Oh, it's dripping with the Master's scent! Oh, okay. Kinda crazy, girl. You can... smell it? You got a death wish or something? Hiding Master from me will cut your life expectancy! No, 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 I'm, I'm not hiding it! Ten, nine, eight, seven... What are you doing? If you don't give me my master by the time I get to zero, I'm gonna cut you like wet mochi! Whoa. Four, three, two... Oh, hold on! I really don't know it! What? Is she gonna sneeze? Cause I remember every time she sneezes, she turns back into a Toko. <laughs> Wait, what turned the back? She didn't sneeze. That was the first time I've seen that. Who, who are you? She don't even know what's going on. Uh, oh, wait, uh, don't tell me. You're Kamaru Nagi, aren't you? I got it, right? Uh, I just told you that. Oh, did you? I, I, I can't help it, you know? I don't share memories with her. Her? Memories? G Jeez, stop saying stuff that makes no sense. Everything is confusing enough as it is. Well, you can call me your ally. For now. Then come on! If we don't hurry, we're gonna get attacked! It, it's alright. Huh? No, it's... it's alright. I can do it, because I made a promise... with him. <laughs> Ta Toko! Whoa, whoa, whoa. He, yes! Oh, oh, that ability is not a curse, it's a talent. An um, amazing talent that holds oh, incredible possibilities. Um. Oh, master, thank you. Thank you very much. Master that talent. Do it for me. Yeah, yeah, yes! <laughs> Really? How close to it? That's how she's thinking with her head. Um, are you okay? <sighs> like I said, it will be all right. I can make good use of her now. I've learned a lot since then. We're gonna take them all down right here, right now. I'll, I'll smash them to pieces. This is cool. Let's go, um, oh, Omaru Naegi. Omaru? It's time for the tutorial. If you if you press the C key, you will switch to Genocide Jack. Not only does she take, she, she, not only does she not take them, but she can use super strong attacks as well. The left mouse button to attack, shift key to evade, Hold left mouse button for a special skill. Also, you can focus on any means with the right mouse button, and if you press either the space key or the critical key, you can unleash a superpower slash lust. Feel free to try it out. Okay, this is cool. Uh, I am the okay, that's cool. <laughs> Okay, this is awesome. I'll slice 
you all to hell. I want to slice up some pretty boys. So how do you like using Genocide Jack? Oops, I, oh, I forgot to mention. There's a time limit for using Genocide Jack. You use up the battery in the top left of the screen and you automatically revert to Toko. Also, you can't you can't use Slash Lust Limitless. Charge the Lust Gauge on the bottom right and when it's full, you can use Slash Lust. The Lust Gauge fills up when Genocide Jack defeats enemies. Do a single one gauge attack with right mouse button plus space key and a gauge and a three gauge combo move. Okay. See, let's switch back tomorrow. Alright, I got I think I got next for it. Oh man, it's over? It's over to kick some more butt. <sighs> the, that was all of them, right? Amazing! That was amazing! What was that just now? Too casual. Huh? D -d Don't speak to me so casually, like I'm one of your friends or something. I'm your senior. But, but you still haven't told me your name. <sighs> I'm sure you're just going to forget it right away. But it's Toko Fukawa. Yeah, or Genocide Jack. Toko Fukawa? Oh, sorry for having such a boring name. I bet you think it's perfect for a hag like me, right? <laughs> What's wrong I, with I her? don't think that at all. And anyway, what was that all about earlier? You were a completely different person. I couldn't tell you. What? I d don't remember. Didn't I already tell you? We don't share memories. Um, I don't really get it Ugh, it's like I said I have a split oh hey you, you don't believe me right you think I'm just some filthy woman who's sick in the head well you kind of are Toko. you're probably wondering how a stupid pig managed to learn how to talk aren't you I don't think that's well maybe the first bit I mean it's true that it's a little hard to believe and I was pretty surprised but if that's what you say I believe you it was a pretty drastic change after all you believe me just like that what are you stupid or something well, what was I supposed to say well if you really are this stupid that just makes this easier it's just I feel like I've heard the name Genocide Jack somewhere before. Ding, ding, ding. She's a serial killer. I, I see. So, you still remember. Well, no point in hiding it now. It was all over the talk shows back in the day, after all. Talk shows? Wait. Could it be? No. Never mind. Couldn't be. W what? It's just... I feel like I've heard a similar name on the news about some serial killer. Yeah, that's the one. What? B but that was just in the old days. I, I've completely tamed her since then. Mm -hmm. Master commanded me to discover the secret, and I learned the stun gun does the trick. And depending <laughs> on how much shock I give myself, after a while I go back to my normal self. <laughs> Isn't it great? It's all thanks to Master Biakia. Uh, anyway, it seems like a good skill to have. With that power, we can get through them easy. D don't be dense! Huh? Didn't I just say I need the stun gun to change? <laughs> My brain would fry if I just did it over and over. I can't just use it at will like that. Really? I saw you change before at will when you sneeze. Anyway. What is your relationship with Master Biakia? Hmm? Why do you have that hacking gun? I, I was saved by him earlier. He, he gave this gun to me. S saved? Master Biakia saved you? <laughs> I will. I will protect Komaru Naegi. I swear it on my life. Oh my god. I swear in the name of the Togami family! 
This is awesome. <laughs> You better not get ahead of yourself. Just because you're ugly. In a... in a cute way. Why are you angry? Remember this. I won't let anyone interfere in my romance with Master. I'm going to rescue Master. And then, in the heat of the moment, we'll... Oh. Huh? Rescue? Oh, wait, hold on. Biakio was captured? What, you just figured that out? Really? Why would I even be here if it weren't for Master? He was probably ambushed by cowards. There's no way he'd just allow himself to be captured. I, I have kind of remember I see. him not being captured. I don't know, so maybe it was a scene was that caught after all. was left out of him being caught. You better not feel responsible for this. Your guilt would be an insult to my master. You're right. My worrying won't change anything. <sighs> What's with this chick? I can't believe I gotta take this into sexy world. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Nothing. And watch your mouth! I'm so terribly sorry? It's fine. You're a lost cause anyway. But more importantly, I want to hurry up and find Master. Now is not the time to relax. You're right. We've got to get out of this building. Well then, after you. Huh? Why do I have to go first? You have Master's gun, don't you? But don't worry. When you're really in trouble, I'll save you. I can't have you dying on me. Now come on! Stop staring off into space and get moving already! You're not dead yet. Ugh, fine. So I got Toko on my team now. That's awesome. I never played up to this part. Like, after I couldn't stream it anymore, I just said screw it and I left the game alone. But that's awesome. This is awesome that I get to play again. Is there anything else around here that I'm missing? Alright, maybe not. What is this? What is this? Training potty? Well, <laughs> if it isn't your little buddy, maybe you should try riding on it. Hey, who are you calling a baby? You're offended, but you're still gonna ride it? Huh. This is surprisingly relaxing. S seriously? Hmm, okay. Say oh, it's a save point. Okay, yes, I do want to save. Okay, let's continue. Is this a hospital? Dark and depressing. Just like me. Yeah, right. She has no faith in herself. Right? Why didn't you deny it? That <laughs> means you agree, don't you? Oh, just as I thought. Humans cannot be trusted. Humans? You are having delusions. I prefer to call it imagination. Why is this shutter here? We can't even go down. This wasn't here when I was on the roof before. What's going on? You can't open it? It's impossible. There's no power. Then what should we do? Oh, don't worry. There's a mystical spell that magically opens the door. Let's <laughs> chant it together. What an asshole. What? Seriously? Of course not. Obviously, we just have to look for the switch and turn on the power. Uh, oh, great. Alrighty. Are those people d dead? That seems like it. Damn it. So cruel. He's dead, right? Well, obviously, you can't tell just by looking. What are you, dense? What, what are you doing? Are you an idiot? I'm trying not to look at the bodies. I have a fear of blood. I see. Oh. Oh, you you with a fear of blood? Don't expect What's this. What's going it's on? Like, well, I, what I am not allowed to have a, have a girly side just because of my other personality. Uh, I wasn't trying to be insulted. But, but if you're afraid, should, but if you're afraid, afraid, shouldn't you just stay away from me? I can't just 
keep saying, I'm afraid. I, I need to overcome my fear of blood. After all, you gain meaning in life through personal um, growth. That's a surprising positive outlook. Surprisingly, I thought you said you didn't want to be insulted, but I was just repeating that. This is not funny at all. Oh, I just can't stand it. Just the smell of blood is enough to make me faint. If Master wants, I'll give up on the whole personal growth thing. Oh yeah, that's right. She faints from blood from what I figured out in uh, Danger Rump and Trigger Happy Habit. That's how we first found out she was really Genocide Jack, too. When she fainted, it came back. All crazy. So, can't go through there. What's up? Uh, the power's out. I don't like dark places. That's a power panel. I wonder if we can do something to turn it on. Oh, the hacking power, right? That's what I need. That's what you want me to do. Okay then, let's go. Uh, um, Toko? About this gun, wouldn't it be better if you used it? I'm allergic to machines. What? Oh, well, if you have allergies, then I guess it can't be helped. You're allergic to guns? Well, not guns, hacking machines. I don't know why I keep calling this a gun, it's an air horn. What is this? Something terrible is happening. I didn't take long, it didn't take long before I realized it. I understand it. I can understand it when I saw my co-workers on the floor with his eyes looked out. I I understand it. I understand it when I saw my boss with his intestines in his hand. I realized that this is pure in insanity. But even though I knew this, I still couldn't convince myself that this is real. It's only been one day. There's no way the world could came could have come to this in just one day. There's no way your friends who were laughing with you just a while ago could be dead just like that what i thought i knew about the world what i thought just was just common knowledge it's all in insanity to me now children running around and killing adults it can't be happening i have okay that's a fun little message to read i guess but this is getting interesting oh uh, okay <laughs> It's here! Uh, hurry up and shoot it! Okay. Just gotta switch my gun really quick. Give me a second. Oh. Oh. oh, I leveled up. Awesome. I don't know what that means yet. Alright, how do I get out? Oh. Which way to get out of here? Too fast. Alright. Hello, you little brat. Mono kid. I've seen this kid before. No, it's probably just another one. Those brats are all wearing helmets like this. Huh? Really? <laughs> but why are they wearing helmets? Uh, I, I don't know. These kids only ever talk to each other. Even at a time like this, they're playing around like a bunch of idiots. This stupid brats. But isn't it dangerous? What if they get attacked by Monokumas? No, you don't get it. These brats are working with the Monokumas to kill all the adults. Oh. They're what? She just... Kids killing adults? It's completely insane. But we can't just attack these brats. It's so frustrating. <laughs> anyway, Toko, 
Who knows? Maybe you should open it. Time for a tutorial. I'm sure a smart gamer like you already knew. Ah, oh, thank you for calling me a smart gamer. I really appreciate that. Like you already know, the truth bullets are a limited source, but there are unexpected like moves. But worrying about unexpected unexpectations is no way to live. Truth bullets are are replenishable with item boxes or by picking up the ones dropped by Monokumas. Other than bullet bullets, you, you might find here find hearts to heal HP and batteries for genocide chat. Resupply yourself skillful so skillfully so you don't find yourself full of one item but empty empty of another okay thanks so it's giving me a pr uh, item oh it gave me some more mono it gave me some more bullets is that kid giving this to us why help us like this my guess is they're carrying out someone's order huh? order who, who cares anyway no point wasting our time worrying about mentally damaged kids. Well, that might be true, but it's fine. Jeez, you're slow. Hurry up already. Uh, okay. Okay, so, so the little, so those kids are helping us now? Help, or helping us survive. They're here again. I'm doing well. Okay, another tragedy. The right and toll. Rampage Monokuma robots repeatedly, repeatedly the same kind that were involved in the incident are roaming amongst through Toa City. The, the how and why are currently unknown. Evidence points to the involvement of those. Remnants of despair. Remnants of despair. Toa City is currently in the state of level five emergency alert. Evacuation is advised. Okay. So those are just little notes to warn you or something. What's this? Billy Mungo Royal. High school seniors. So Sikania. So Kanya has 24 split personalities. After an unexpected turn of events, she obtained 23 new bodies, but there's no need for 24. So, so yeah, Sakashi, the killing of me against me commits. I have no idea what that means. Hmm. This book isn't even worth throwing into the fire. You think so? Really? I thought it looked pretty good. So I'm sure vulgar. Like you would enjoy it, but I only acknowledge pure literature. Don't mess with me! I mean, look at this. He's using the soul identity disorder as a plot point, the hacker. Poking fun at his subject without any consideration, considering how they feel. This is not professional. <laughs> I'm sure he's not writing about yours. About, about you. Which reminds me. Oh, and speaking of disorder identity, identities, I wanted to ask you something. Genocide Jack isn't gonna kill me, right? I'm totally safe, right? No, she won't. She has a special thing about killing cute men. When she comes to Monokumas, I think when it comes to Monokumas, I think she sees it as breaking them, not really killing but... them. But she's threatened me and told me she'd kill me. Maybe it was just a threat, or maybe she's actually a cute, really actually a really cute guy. I'm a girl. <laughs> oh, I'm not so sure. You could be lying to me. There's no proof you're not a guy. Why would I lie like that for no reason? What what do you, what do you want me to show you? Proof that I'm a girl? Are you an idiot? What do you get all? Why'd you get all serious for? I was just kidding. Aww. Well, sorry. We just met and I'm not used to your brand of humor yet. Oh, they're becoming friends. That's awesome. Alright, let's get out of here. I got to go this way, right? Whoa, what is this place? Oh. Looks like a playground for those little brats. I've seen them playing around with that arcade machine before. Arcade machine? 
think I'm going for another tutorial. That arcade machine, that arcade machine, those kids just left aren't no normal arcade machines. It's actually displayed the surveillance cameras in the next room. These kids use the control the controls to work the monokumas in that room, just like a video game. Oh, the horror! This is the life of a game brain. Anyway, there's always a strategy for rooms with a nearby arcade machine. At first glance, the room look, next door looks dangerous with all these monokumas around. But if you use a certain route, you can get past them without getting caught. And now then, try shooting, try try shooting moves at the arcade machine, then check the next door. All I gotta do is shoot the arcade machine, right? There's a lot of them lurking around. Instead of fighting, it might be better to run. Okay, let's see. So I come in through here. I can't go straight up, so I have to go like this. But there's Monokumas right here too, which means I have to go backwards. Yeah, okay, I think I got it. Did you forget on the best route for? Did you figure out the best route for getting past this Monokuma? By pressing the F1 key, you can use the arcade machine video again. But you will leave your phone. It will leave you vulnerable. So be very careful. Okay. We've got to hurry. We don't want to be caught. So this way. Oh, don't do that. And I think I can run out the door here. That was easy. Let me stop saying that before this freaking stuff start getting hard, harder and harder. We're finally out, but where are we? What? You don't know? Don't you live in the city? I wouldn't call it living. I was just imprisoned in an apartment the whole time. Imprisoned, huh? That's an interesting backstory. But how did you know I was living in this town? Huh? And while I'm at it, this has been on my mind for a while. You said something when we first met. You said you must be Komaru Naegi. Toko, how did you know about me? D don't get all detective mode on me out of nowhere. You caught me off guard. Well, I think I deserve to know. It's not some big secret or anything. On the helicopter ride over, Master mentioned you and... Helicopter? You mean Future Foundations? You're a member of Future Foundation? Well, I'm more like an intern. That's why I don't have my own uniform yet. Oh, that's why you aren't in a suit. This is such a cheap-ass organization. <laughs> they could have at least given me a uniform. Oh, man. Ugh. When will I finally get to change out of this old ratty thing? You only have that one uniform, huh? Yeah, but I'll endure it for a little bit longer. I made a promise with Master. He said, if I can prove I can control her, I get to be an official member. <laughs> Toko, you must never leave my side. Protect me always. That is your purpose. Your destiny. But <sighs> I'm not an official member. Enough with the excuses. <laughs> you are my property. I own you like livestock. Yes! I'm your livestock! My pig. Wow, really? Yes! I'm your pig! Hey, pig. Repeat the promise you made with me. Uh, uh, oink, oink, oink? In English, fool. I promise to never <laughs> let Genocide Jack kill another human being. Then I become an official member. I need you. You must never break that promise. Oink! Oink! Okay, um... Oink! 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 
What's with that face? It's like you're looking at a pig. Did I look that weird? No, not at all. You didn't look disgustingly gross at all. I didn't ask you if it was gross. I just said weird. <laughs> oh, sorry. Jeez. Even this immature schoolgirl treats me like an intern. <clears throat> and even that occult moron and the swimming idiot bimbo are official members. Oh, you talk about, um, um, ah, what the heck is his name? Hero and, um, Iona, the swimming girl. Oh, wow, they're in this too. This is awesome. Wow. You sure give your friends nice nicknames. They're not my friends. My whole life I've never had a friend. And now you go making me remember stuff like that. Stop prodding my mental wounds, girl! I didn't mean to. Hm. Anyway, who cares about having friends? I have Master Biakia. And as long as I have Master, I don't need anything or anyone else actually care about someone that much that's a pretty amazing feeling but I got separated from my precious master thanks to these damn riots now I'm all alone of course I did sneak onto the helicopter without master <laughs> or anyone else of knowing. course you did wait so ever since then you've been alone then who told you Bayakia was captured Oh, well, a lot of things happened. A and more importantly, what are you going to do from here on? Me? Well, I guess there's no choice but to escape. I'll be killed if I stay in this town, right? But you... You want to look for Byakuya, right? I know that's what you want, but... But I'm just so scared. I can't help it. I... I feel so afraid. I feel trapped. No matter what I do, I'll end up getting killed. So, listen, I know this is an unfair request, but... Fine. Huh? You want me to tag along with you, right? It... It's... Okay? There's no other choice. As a member of Future Foundation, it's my duty to protect you. Don't you mean intern? You're not a member. Thank you so much, Toko. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, just thank God I met Toko. God, just thank me directly. But uh, are you sure about this? Uh, what about your search for Byakuya? Uh, there's no need for you to worry about that. I've been thinking up a plan. Oh, you're right. An amazing girl like you would have a plan for sure. No point in me worrying. Hmm. But I'm glad. Ever since I was imprisoned, I've been all alone. I couldn't depend on anyone else. So I'm really happy you're with me. So, so happy. Y you don't have to repeat yourself. I heard you the first time. Now, do you know a way out? I don't know anything about this city either. I don't know where we should go. You're right. We have to figure out more about this town first. This town is an island off the coast and controlled by a powerful IT corporation. It's commonly called Toa City. That's right. I heard this town is on an island, which means... Hey, Toko, do you remember seeing a bridge anywhere? A bridge? If I remember correctly, I saw a huge bridge over that way. Perfect. If this town really is an island, we should be able to escape over the bridge. Hmm, I guess you're right. Let's go to the bridge. We have to at least try. <sighs> what a relief. I was starting to lose hope. I, I see. Good for you. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, time for a tutorial. I like to introduce some small net unnecessary skills that turn the battle in your favor. First, bring up the menu with the escape key and switch to the and switch to the skill screen with the Z, X, and key. 
choose skills by and it's uh detach attach then, oh okay surprise this appears you already know what skill on right hooray if you attach the skill you'll be able to automatically lock on the target by finding reference book references books around town you can get new skills don't forget to attach them to turn the tide of war by the way attaching skills would acquire skill points skill points increase when kamaru levels up pretty standard stuff now then Defeats a lot. Defeat a lot of monochromes. Level up quick. Okay. This so, filthy shot. Okay, so I got a automatic lock. So how do I? Oh, okay. So is that true bullets? Okay. All right. So. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time I have. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want a sweet, sweet bonus episode for tomorrow, because I just I decided that I was going to do this during the weekend, and um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I was going to have something different out for you guys. So if you go to that bonus episode, plus what I got for you guys coming out tomorrow, hmm. let me know down in the comment section below. Leave a like. Get five likes on this. If I get five likes on this video, I would definitely drop the bonus episode for you guys tomorrow. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you if you want to see more, let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget to, to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>